The city of Chicago wants fans here at Wrigley Field to be as safe as possible, and it's calling on the Cubs to make some major moves right now. CBS 2's Susanna Song joins us live from the ballpark with more. Hi, Susanna. Hey, good morning, Aaron. You know, there's an afternoon game, which is why you see a sea of blue behind me. A lot of fans now walking over to the plaza waiting to get inside. With all the new construction and improvements here at Wrigley Field, added security measures have been put in place, but the city says more is required. In a letter sent to the Cubs yesterday, the Office of Emergency Management and Communication said there were several outstanding security measures requiring prompt attention. They include upgrades to security barriers, cameras, radio communications, and security uniforms. The Cubs were also asked to provide a plan for crowd management in the new sports plaza, as well as a need for a secure fence line between the retail shops and plaza. Change is always good. Um, it's always to be a step ahead of whatever problems could be out there. Um, but once again, we've never felt unsafe down here. It's not hurting the overall product. It's not hurting what happens once you go in the game. If it takes a little, like I said, if it takes a little bit longer, that's okay. As long as we're safe in there. Bringing my family, I'd, I'm fine with safe, extra safety measures. I'd rather be safe than sorry. Well, last month, 42-year-old Richard Garrity of Wheaton fell to his death here at Wrigley Field. The city said they weren't immediately notified about the accident. From here on out, they want the Cubs to notify police of any serious injuries. Well, this morning, the Cubs responded saying uh, the number one priority here is, of course, the safety and security of their fans and Wrigleyville neighbors. Already this year alone, they said they've invested about a million dollars to expand camera surveillance. We are live outside of Wrigley Field. Susanna Song, CBS 2 News. Aaron, back to you. Susanna, thank you.